Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to my latest podcast talking about a controversial character in the Barcelona Colours. We're going to be speaking today about Thomas Vermaelen. Now we all know of course Vermaelen joined us in the summer, there was mixed reviews when he signed. Much like Jeremy Machu really, there was a lot of people who were you know, with the signing, there was a lot of people who were against the signing, some people didn't understand it. It was rather different to Mattia though, a lot of people you know, were against him but they would turn very very quickly, he made sure that he um, could convinced a lot of supporters very, very quickly. But with Vermaelen, people were very, very unsure of why we'd signed him because he was very, very injury-prone at Arsenal. Um, he didn't play much there. He was the club captain there, but they let him go, not because he was a bad player, not because he, he didn't perform well in that centre-back role, because they're short defenders themselves, but simply because he was so injury-prone, it wasn't worth keeping him. So the question that we asked, of course, why would you sign somebody who's extremely injury-prone, that still costs around 10 to £15 million, pounds, and also is struggling really in terms of where he's at in his career. You know, he's not, you know, in the greatest form anyway. He's not exactly one of those players who's an incredible defender when he's fit. Vermaelen's a good defender when he's fit. You know, he's solid, you know, he's competent. But he's not one of those players who you take a risk on, even though they're injury prone, because they're that good. That's not really the case with Vermaelen. So the question is, why did we sign him in the first place? The answer to that is panic. Zubizarreta and co, the board, haven't been the best in terms of decision making over the last few years. And this is another real bad story in terms of their decision making. Um, Vermaelen was a panic buy. We had to by a centre back, there was offers for Marquinhos, there was players linked with us all summer long. Benatia, one of those. We didn't go for any of those big names. We didn't want to splash out the cash on a centre back, so we went for the cheaper but less reliable option in Thomas Vermaelen. And that really has come back to haunt not only the board but also the general team now that leaves us at centre back short, probably for the rest of the season. Now we've heard about Vermaelen all season long so far. He played in a friendly the same time that Luis Suarez did against Indonesia under 19s. Uh, he played about 60 minutes in that friendly, uh, but that's all we've seen of him. He played in that friendly, he's been given the medical green light twice so far, but we have not seen him play an official match. And he's been training most of the time on his own, he's been doing individual training, catered for him. It was an injury that he sustained during the World Cup. He was playing for Belgium in the World Cup, he played quite well there, um, and it was a thigh injury. He hobbled off and he didn't play any of the knockout stages for Belgium, and um, he was suffering from the injury when we signed him. Now... How he passed his medical examination when we signed him is quite beyond me. I don't really know how an injured player... We saw what happened with Victor Valdez at Monaco. He failed his medical because he was injured and because that injury was still affecting his performance. The same really should have happened with Vermaelen. I'm not really sure what happened there. There was... Um, Questions when we signed him from our medical department. Our medical department advised Zubizarreta. They said, don't sign Vermaelen. He's got injury problems. It would be an unnecessary risk. Zubizarreta, being the man he is, completely ignored those advisory comments. And he went out and bought Thomas Vermaelen. And since then, we've not seen him. He's been injured. He's got this thigh problem, which is continuing to niggle away. And he came back into full training last week. And he was expected to make his debut um, against Recreativo in the uh, Copa del Rey, which is on December, the start of December. Now, that won't be happening. He's um, Again, he's suffered a little bit of a relapse in this injury. The thigh problem has returned. And now, of course, after so many weeks of being injured, Barcelona are saying, should we send Thomas Vermaelen for the operation? Now, the uh, deciding vote stays with Vermaelen, and also the club as well will decide whether they send him to um, abroad to get this operation done. It'll be an operation that's done on his thigh muscle. And basically what that operation is supposed to do is stop these sort of relapses happening. It's supposed to stop the, the muscle injury. Uh, because clearly in Vermaelen's body, he's had a number of injuries over the years. He's, of course, getting on now. He's he's getting on to his late 20s. He's had these operations. You know, he's ha had these problems with his thigh muscles. So it's just to shore up that muscle, really. Orava is the name of the surgeon who is going to be doing the operation if it goes ahead. Thomas Vermaelen was supposedly on Skype with this man yesterday through talking through the process of the operation, talking through the effects the operation will have on him, and he's come out today and he has said a few words to the press. I'll just read out what he has said. He said, I talked with the Barcelona the doctors and with Vermaelen also. I recommended the surgery to Thomas Vermaelen directly. The decision will be made by the club and Vermaelen whether we go ahead with it in one or two days' time. So by the weekend, we should know whether Vermaelen will be going in to see this operation. Uh, and he said that the operation could happen as soon as next week. 
He then went on to say that Vermaelen could start training again after just two or three weeks after we finished the operation, but obviously it'll take time to get back into the match fitness of the whole regime, and he did go on to say then he could play in three months' time. Now, we've heard a few days ago uh, a lot of Spanish reports were claiming that if Vermaelen did go ahead with the operation, it would take five months to recover from it. Now, Orava is coming out and saying that it would only take three months. He said there's a 99% Thomas Vermaelen will decide to go ahead with the surgery. It'll happen next week, and we do believe that it will only be three months that he will remain out for. Now, if that's the case, if it goes ahead next week, the start of December, and he was out for three months, he could be back between February and March. But what I will say is, we may well have this operation, he may well go through the process of it, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. I personally don't expect to see Van Malen again this season. I say again, we haven't seen him in the first place. I don't expect him to play any part this season, simply because... I'm not sure how quick he can recover. He's saying three months there, but with Vermaelen's recovery time, with his psychological effects as well, because of course Vermaelen has not played this season, that must be really eating away. It means he's very anxious himself to get it onto the pitch. I do feel sorry for Thomas Vermaelen. It's not his fault that we signed him. It's not his fault that we took a risk on him. I blame Zubi Zaretta and not Vermaelen. Of course, it must be horrible for him as well, having joined a new club and he's not been able to play due to constant injury problems. Now, it's going to be interesting what happens. I think the club will definitely go ahead with the operation because, quite frankly, that's the only way that it can be done. I'd rather us go ahead with the operation, get it done, get Vermaelen sorted out, ready for the end of the season or maybe next season, rather than have this hanging over us. We're always wondering now if, even if Vermaelen came back in a few weeks' time, we'd be wondering when he's going to get injured next. So let's get the operation done. Let's go through the proper process of it and let's see what happens. But I personally don't expect to see Vermaelen any of this season, but it may well be a decent signing next season. If he goes ahead of this operation, there is a positive here. We do have a transfer ban. We are going to need our full squad next season, and if Thomas Vermaelen can get fit and can get back on form in time for next season, that would certainly be a plus for us. So, that's the thoughts on Vermaelen. That's what's happening. I'll let you know more information in the next few di days. I'll let you know more information during the next few days on what is happening, guys. Please leave your thoughts down below. What do you make of the entire Vermaelen situation? Who is to blame, in your opinion? Let me know down below. I've been talking FCB. I'll be back very, very soon, guys, with more videos here on the channel. But until then, Viscrell Barca! Barca! Barca!